What? Second session in this morning, I'd like to share this report, which is published from Science, uh, under the title of the Redox Reaction of Small Organic Molecules Using uh, Bolo Milling and Piezoelectric Materials. So, you will see this video in the end. So, what are the bold milling and mechanical chemistry? Uh, somebody already know, I don't know. I don't know. So the term mechanical chemistry was introduced by Oswald in 1887. And it's quite common in the field of material science, polymer, polymer chemistry, and inorganic chemistry. In my previous uh, university, there's one of the best friends who did every time bowl milling stuff or in organic uh, chemistry for making the better artificial bond. So it's quite in, uh, quite common in organic chemistry, but. To be honest, it is not in organic chemistry. So what is the advantage of uh, mechanical chemistry? So first, avoidance of organic solvents. You don't need organic solvents. And you don't need external heating. And uh, you just need a shorter reaction time than normal solution-based condition, like two hours or just one hour or something like that. And then this is uh, the point here, yeah, simpler operation handling. So all you need is just only this uh, jar and bowl and this machine for bowl winning. So that's why it's quite useful for polysolvable solids reaching organic solvents. So this is how to set up reaction. It's quite easy. So just uh, you need this uh, bowl and uh, jar and put everything, the so solid and liquid one, and then the <coughs> other clothes. And then like the yeah, for example, MM four hundred, which is the name of the machine, and then engraving story. So this is how okay. So I recommend you to visit there at once. So this one in the summer, you can see the flower and mountains. It's really nice, and also in the winter you can enjoy ski. And where is the Niseko ski resort, where the bunch of the skiers from Europe visit there every time. And then after that, you can enjoy hot spring, and then in the winter. Uh, Sapporo, where the biggest city in uh, Hokkaido, you can see this kind of snow sculpture. It's quite nice. So, yeah, let's back to chemistry a bit. <laughs> yeah, Bowling organic synthesis, it's, it's not common, but there are some examples that I'll show you here. The first one is Kanapenagal concentration with bowl milling. So, you need a stick. So, in the end, finally. Hammering, hammering reaction. So all you need is just uh, stimulating the the mixture in the bowl in the jar. So professor says, yeah, let's go with hammer. Yeah, and to be honest, yes, they got the forty three percent deal in NMO. So this is uh, how to how they did. So this <laughs> is with grinding and placed in the paper. Wrapped, a place in the bag, fold, and hammering. So this is the video. Oh no. So this is how did it, how did, how it went. <coughs> so this person is assistant professor. So professor <laughs> made that made him hit them like. 200 times. <laughs> Why 200 times? Because the, he also tried 100 times and he got about 20%. <laughs> so, Professor Nye yeah, by the way, 200. And then he did, he got 43%. So, again, Professor Nye yeah, gets over 500 and assistant professor said no. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now the professor Ido is looking for a PhD postdoc who can fit over 500 candidates. So this is conclusion about the mechanical chemistry with Bolmeri. There is a possibility to apply for many different coupling that we did, what we would be doing, and higher yield the solution conditions, and also easy setup. So far, maximum 100 gram product was obtained in industry already. And this is all you don't need. Yeah. So this is their mission. Robert Saito said that they want to simplify the organic chemistry toward the post-COVID-19. Because during the, the quarantine in the post-COVID-19, uh, we couldn't do anything in the lab. We couldn't be, you know, stand in front of the humans, which is unproductive. And also they want to replace the classic organic chemical reaction to bottling, such as linear reaction, 3D cross, this other gasification, something like that. And they already uh, replaced the Barbier reaction to bottling, which is has not been published yet, I think. And then yeah, they but you also build the easy access to insoluble compounds in our case of this. So that's all, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, it, it's very nice. I love this uh, technique. Uh, I, I'm just wondering, uh, how, how does the temperature inside the reaction? You only mentioned it on slide 6. If yeah. I remember correctly, but I mean you're you're giving a lot of energy to the system. So do they monitor the, the actual temperature of the system at one point? Mm, I mean during the reaction. Yes. Uh, I think this is the only picture that I. Because there's a lot of corrections. Yeah. I mean like yeah. 13 hertz, for instance, is a yeah. lot of friction. But I remember the, if I remember correctly, the professor said the maximum. 30 or 40 degrees in the jar. And then you cool it? I mean, no, 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 no. If you have an exothermic reaction, then you need to disperse that excess energy somehow. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But it, yeah. But this is not one of Sorry. Yeah, they don't do it. Like just uh, put the jar and then put the machine and it's done. Okay. Yeah. It's called the bomb. It's called the bomb. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what they do in the end. Yeah. Or is it really this nice? <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you do that, it's not nice. If you do that, it's not nice. You're right. Well, it's not terrible. But it's not yeah, 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 this one is not scalable. But the other ones, yes. But no, it's not. I mean, you can't really do it. You need to really do it. Yeah? Oh, to be honest, it's the same. 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 So far, they obtained 100 gram of product, 
So, yeah, maybe maximum 100, and then in one match. match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was done in this ring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the three guys in I was just wondering, since you can do uh, unsolvable materials, if they already tried like acrophosphate <coughs> transformation or any natural selective transformation, like any. Yeah. They did, and the work. I don't think so, but I think that's the next selectivity, yeah. Yeah. The first selectivity so that is really is going to be difficult, but you never know. Yeah. You should know. Yeah, you might be, you know. You might something, do something in the future. <coughs> yeah. Ah, sorry. Um, who, who was first? Okay. Oh, someone suggested. Didn't you, you said you had like so, some your friend or whoever you have an acquaintance in the group, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe suggest to him uh, finding some place where they do metal pressing. Because mm -hmm. I think, you know, 500, hitting it 500 times with a hammer. You know, it's nice, but it's a it's a shitty mechanical work that you don't want to do. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe they can take the, their stuff and just put it on a mechanical press. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't, this, I don't, this, this thing yeah. is already existing, and probably there, like you know, on Ohio, there probably is like a factory where they just press metal. Yeah, but then it becomes it's fun. <laughs> well, it, it's not, it, it wasn't fun for the assistant professor who, who was the, doing the hammering, you know. Probably for the first hundred times. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, probably for the first twenty times, and after that, it's just a fucking chore. But I would do that for one point. Yeah. You don't want to do that for a long time. No, 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 no. You want to compound it with that. The other? Yeah, I have some question. So um, you told us that they didn't flush their jar with any hard gas. No. So what was the point to load the lady again? Uh, uh, so <coughs> yeah. The point is they have to use another reactant, which is more reactive than the first one. Okay. Or uh, yeah, we can say the less reactive reactant. It is what you have to use at first. To make a selectivity. But you still have the in each kind. Yeah, yeah, there is. But we should be added because there is no necessity of inner gas. So why did you put uh, the lady again? That was the question. But okay. So you don't have to be able to replace that thing up from the first time. If I select the default. Where do they call? That one five calls, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. I mean, that doesn't be complimentary. Yeah, they tried, of course, with that one five calls. But uh, yeah, this is the, one of the best results of the You did in the previous slide, you know, the right? You did? Yeah. Oh, all the time. Yeah, yeah almost all the time, yeah. yeah. Maybe this is the one where. Initially, you mean like uh, yeah, they always have it, you know. yeah, always have it yeah. Yeah. from C and coupling to the end. They already they also have the one five code. Because it makes the reaction faster and better, so uh, yeah. of that it's not great to get into one couple of reactions and to then form other reactions. Yeah, I think this is the the depends on the ligand that you choose. So if you choose uh, the suitable ligand, the reaction is faster, so you couldn't stop the reaction. But if you select like a suitable one, you can stop. The professor said, yeah, you should try the TBU expos or uh, TBU bread expos at first to see there if there's a difference or not. So yeah, that's the point I think. And then they also have like, products reinforces that are already Mm, they have 
haven't shown they have a paper like a synthesis of a palladium coordinating uh, ligand coordinating palladium complex but they didn't try the complex reaction yeah. Uh, you were talking about the first example, right? Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's, I think there's no space, you know, to include the oxygen. Because it's a salt. It's salt, it's salt. That's what I said. Stuff my friends are using in organic chemistry. Mm -hmm. 
Click it no more. Wait to fly the flight. Hold the position of the flight and I can see in the flight. Because I see a taller, but I will get the phone part of the reactor and don't get it anymore. So I can put the quality of the system in the right hand. I can give it another frequency with the building and I think we don't have any other ones. There is a big drop or... Because this is what people call me, you know, sometimes it looks nice, but at the end of the moment, it's not only me, it's in some parts we have products and some other parts of the reaction. And uh, I suppose that the quality of the reaction is going to be to make sure that we see all the secrets now. Squeeze it. No. Yeah, but what does the hole do? Ah, they're, uh, I forgot to say that they're using the steel stuff for this record. For yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. It's a big trade Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, there are several stuff for bowling, like the, as you said, the Admina or some. No, no, but what, what is driving the wheel? I mean, what's the external force making the wheel turn? Since it's a closed system with a wall. Was it like two parts of the kind of cool thing in the wheels? Or uh, it's a mechanical question. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a bolt and then there is a some space. Yeah. So you can shake like this. Ah, so it's just, yeah. yeah, I should put some movie for that here. Sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean that This is the layer steel, not regular steel. I said yeah, here, so we can follow. This is the one.